guys. My name is Rage and we're back today with a very exciting video of part three of my Dark Dimension 4 preparation. I'm actually got my first five characters now ready to go and I'm hoping to show you guys here in terms of uh, how far I've come. So that being said here, let's take a quick look over my player profile. Just to remind you guys, I am a 100% free to play player. So I'm very quite proud that I've been able to finally achieve this now and can get started. I only actually just completed Dark Dimension 3 a few months ago. So you can see here, uh, total team collection power, 5.4 million. And honestly, my strongest team power is not even that great, but it's the fact that I really focused on key characters and really farming and saving the materials. And now the time has come for me to actually start it. So um, let's go ahead now and take a look. You can see my achievement days here, uh, 516 days. So still a little bit less than about um, a year and a half, but you know, I'm just glad I can at least show you guys that with proper farming and effective management of your resources, it's definitely possible for a free to play player. So as long as you're smart with your investing. And um, as you can see, like I still have 61 million um, waiting right now too, because uh, rumor has it there are events coming up and you just never know when there's gonna be a high ruler event. So that's kind of what I'm banking on right now, but I am utilizing that now to, uh, to slowly build up my roster for the continuation of Dark Dimension 4. Um, for my characters, I really did try to focus on you know, what characters will I need in the initial nodes? We all know that in the first three nodes, you can use any kind of character trait, followed by then is gonna be global, as well as then cosmic. So I factored that into my decision process. And starting off here, I, I am gonna talk about the odd man out. Um, I'm planning to bring on Symbiote Spider-Man um, due to the fact that he has a very great kit overall, very high utilization. And the fact that he has a stun here, as you can see, um, also applying two turns of slow for any of the other targets afterwards. That's really key for me. We're going to synergize that. You're going to see that with the synergy of the rest of the characters I'll talk about. On top of that, if the enemies also have any negative conditions, um, Symbiote Spider-Man is also going to be able to extend those conditions by one turn, as well as applying more bleed as well. Overall, a gay character, and just the fact that he can apply defense down as well was basic. I just love the fact that he's going to be able to apply a lot of utility for us, especially synergizing with our next four characters here. Um, I'm sure you guys already guessed it, but one of the big ones is going to be Mr. Sinister. Um, he's already been dubbed the King of Dark Dimension 4 for his utility and his adaptability. Really being his ability of clone ultimate here. Opportunity to actually clone an enemy, um, gain a defense up for two turns. But this clone is going to be able to allow us to really adapt to the situation. Um, do we need a healer? Do we need more offensive uh, damage? You know, Mr. Sinister is going to be the one that dictates that. So I love that synergy there. On top of that, his special ability does provide a nice heal for the rest of the team. Um, on top of that, he's able to also provide benefits as well to his clones. So, I mean, just a great character overall. You know, he's tanky, he can soak up damage, and he's going to be the main healer, as you can see with the ISO 8 healer there. So, that's going to synergize extremely well. Next, synergy is actually going to be um, correlated with Emma Frost as well. Emma Frost is also a healer as a way to providing that protection and healing, but with Emma Frost, her synergy of the diamond form special is not only going to be able to apply slow to the enemies, but also cleanses negative conditions on the team and gives the immunity to both herself as well as uh, Mr. Sinister. And just having that combination and that synergy is really going to be able to effect, be effective for us. Uh, one key thing I do like about Emma Frost uh, is the fact that she has an ultimate that applies a blind to the primary target as well as mind controlling the enemies for two attacks. So I mean, um, the nice thing about this ability, it has her blind already naturally, but the, the enemies that attack, um, because they're much uh, higher level than us, they're gonna be able to provide some great damage overall. And the one nice thing about this ability is it also strips away the positive buffs from the enemy. So, I mean, um, just a great attack overall. It's unavoidable. And the fact that she can strip away pauses and blind and buy us a little bit more time. On top of that, you can see that her blind's going to synergize nicely if I utilize Symbiote Spider-Man special to extend the negative condition. On top of that, her basic as well has the opportunity to actually clear a uh, positive effect. So, just really great, well-rounded kit overall and kind of synergizing with the other two characters. Next, it is going to be Ghost here. I like Ghost due to the fact that a couple of things. Um, we're gonna when we target our specific enemies, as you'll see in the playthrough guides I make. Uh, the fact that her basic here can actually control the enemy's speed meter, and her having to strike her ISO is just gonna al allow her to actually strike twice. Uh, thereby reducing this turn meter twice and really providing us a little bit more time but as well as being able to prevent a character from taking their turn on top of that her special is very nice fatal flux um, not only applies negative conditions but on top of that also transfers the positive effect to ghost 
she gets high focus and it's just an opportunity to apply more negatives for us to extend and that synergizes with the team but the one key thing a lot of players will bring her on board is her quantum explosion ultimate and you can see here she attacks all the enemies for you know the 350 percent plus damage but the one nice thing about this effect is that it prolongs once again the negative effects by one so i mean this is already huge on top of that she also steals 15 percent health from all enemies and as you know in dark dimension with the enemy pools being uh, health pools being quite generous um this is going to deal a lot of damage to them and also bypasses the heal block so this is very nice it keeps her sustained and it's unavoidable it can't be blocked and the fact that it also once again uh synergizes with our damage overall and being able to kind of um, provide that extra dps we need and as well as extending the negative conditions synergy that we've kind of built up on um her passive is really good because of the fact that she actually uh, gains evade so she can really kind of self-sustain herself especially in dark dimension you can see the benefit is that you know when an enemy also gains a positive effect she has a chance to actually steal it right she also gets the additional speed for herself so i mean just a great character overall definitely an unsung hero of dark dimension i'm glad she's been added to the game just provides a lot of a lot of synergy for um, newer players especially those that didn't have access to ghost before and are planning to bring uh, characters into dark dimension 3 and going forward and last but not least, to provide an overall supportive role, as well as being able to buy us more time, once again, it is going to be Black Widow. A couple of things that I do like about her. Her basic has the opportunity to actually copy and clear the positive effect of the primary. So, you know, we see the defense up or offense up, we can take advantage of that from an enemy. So that's beautiful. Um, the nice other thing, too, is that her camouflage tech special, you know, Gaining, not only just gaining stealth for her turn, but she's able to actually apply apply speed up to her, her allies uh, for two turns, especially at 60% chance. And that's just going to give us the opportunity to actually be faster than the enemies and really have that, um, that increased opportunity to uh, be able to do more damage, uh, apply additional healing, and really uh, get, get an edge over our enemies, especially if they are uh, high-speed targets. And last but not least, the Widow's Bite Ultimate is really one of the key reasons I wanted to bring her on board. First of all, she transfers the positive effect from the primary target to herself. And the key thing for this ability is really the stun and kind of once again buying us time and applying bleed. Um, unfortunately, she really does get a lot of benefit from this ability from the chain attacks when she does have Hawkeye or Guardian or Elaine on the team. But we're not going to take advantage of that for the key reason of... The, of Black Widow in this case, she's really going to be here to kind of support with additional stuns and applying and synergizing that uh, with the negative condition extension uh, thanks to the rest of our roster. So um, that's my main five right now that I'm, I am planning to bring on board for the initial three nodes as well as global because you can see out of those characters four out of the five are global so i'm very confident they can push me into at least five or six nodes so that's my logic there um symbiote spider-man was the odd man out once again just due to the fact that you know i'm looking a little farther out but i was also keeping in mind trying to think about you know what kind of characters can i utilize that actually kind of synergize extremely well there's some good cosmic characters that I need to build, but I really feel Symbiote Spider-Man has that well-roundedness overall with the stun, the defense down, as well as the uh, negative ex um, condition extension thanks to uh, all the other uh, impacts that were utilized by uh, my other characters. So that's the roster roundabout right now for the first five. I'm definitely going to talk about my next uh, team that I'll bring in, but um, for now, I'm going to get started. And as always, you guys, I do appreciate you checking out my videos, and I can't wait to show you guys the gameplay and playthrough of my attempts Dark Dimension 4. Thank you as always for watching. Do appreciate the channel support and I'll see you in the next one.